Hello, everybody, and welcome to eRev TV, where tonight we're going to be covering the uh, Cal Match of the Week main move up match between FX and Nexus Team Gruffalo. This is going to be on MP Pipeline, and I'm your hostess with the mostest. My name is Anger. And tonight, coming out of retirement, the man you, you guys know him, you guys love him. Let me give it up for Skippy FX. What's up, Skip? What is going on, guys? Thanks for having me back here. It's good to get back in the casting zone here on eRev, the, the leading casting for Call of Duty 4 coverage that I've seen. I look forward to um, casting these, these two great teams playing on an interesting map, and I uh, uh, look forward to entertaining you guys. All right, and on the video, the man, the myth, the legend, Limek. Good evening, Limek in Canada. Good evening, and um, yeah, hello from my igloo. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing Nexus Team Gruffalo again. You know you guys saw them on Thursday in SIVO, and uh, you know, hopefully they can uh, redo what they did in their loss there going up against now uh, FX. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that happens. But FX is no slouch. As we know, they're still involved in SIVO. Uh, the playoffs, and they're doing an outstanding job. And, uh, I mean, it's going to be exciting here, Skip. What do you, I mean, you're coming out of retirement. How do you feel, buddy? <laughs> well, I'm excited to be back here. Like I said, I, I'm ready to cast and, uh, and watch these guys duke it out on Call of Duty 4 since I'm nowhere near the ability that they are in uh, producing headshots with these, with these weapons. And I would have to agree with you on that. I am joined that crowd there, Skippy. I, I really blow at this game, so that's why I am a caster. So uh, if anybody see me in the Pug channels, uh, you know what, what I'm talking about. Speaking of which, I want to give a nice shameful plug to my man, Scope, over at, uh, he has the uh, COD4 Professional channels, uh, the uh, Pound COD4 Professional, Pound COD4 Tryout, uh, Pound COD4 uh, Pug. He's got all these channels on lock. He's uh, showing us a lot of love, so I want to show him some love. And uh, thanks a lot, Sko, for uh, giving us uh, some love in that. So right now, we're waiting for all the teams to get in. Looks like all the participants have arrived here. And uh, this is going to be a nice bloodbath, Skippy, as these two teams are going to be battling it out. And actually, FX uh, lost to final stand last week. So uh, they're going to have to redeem themselves this week going up against uh, Team Gruffalo here from Nexus. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see that. Now, we are going to go 13 rounds. Now, the teams will probably uh, go ahead and, and go past the 13 rounds because of the CPI for Cal. So they're going to go to 24 rounds, but we will end at 13. So the first team to go at 13, we will end from there And because uh, I know we don't want to go to 24 on this one. So, Skippy, um, as the teams are getting ready here, what will they see here on Pipeline? You know, I'm actually not quite sure what these teams are going to do as we, you know, we were watching some teams earlier uh, scrimming, and it seems like the teams had a very difficult time on offense trying to get into the bomb sites. It was not as easy as it looked with uh, all the rooftop access. Uh, defense has a, a pretty clear shot at, at all the people coming in. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how these, these uh, elite players, these cyber athletes, if you will, uh, will perform on offense and see... Uh, if they can actually get some plants down. Yeah, as we saw on Thursday, if some of you guys watched that cast uh, between 50 Cal and Team Gruffalo from here from Nexus, 50 Cal was on defense first, and I guess that's just a big thing. Defense, uh, as long as they have defense first, you know, you're going to get a good commanding lead because it is difficult. And one of the things I didn't see happen, at least from the matches that we've seen and teams that we spec. Yeah, the tunnels haven't been used quite as much, and I'm really surprised about that because uh, it seems like a, a nice way to get from point A to point B and vice versa there. But uh, hopefully we can uh, see that uh, as we go along. Uh, if you want to send shout-outs, you can do that by going to uh, pound e-rev on the Game Surge Network. You can hit up myself, Anger, on there, e-rev Anger, or you can hit up uh, Skippy also, and uh, we'll get your shout-outs. We may not get them uh, right off the bat, but we will once we have a break in action or after the match. Uh, we'll make sure that uh, we get those shout-outs to you. Also, uh, Skippy, I just want to give these people uh, a notice here. Anybody on the West Coast or 
or anywhere near California, uh, the central California, the gigafrag land in Visalia is going to happen in March, I believe. And uh, make sure you guys look at that because that's going to be a great, great land. Uh, there will be some cash and money prizes for that, so make sure that you stay tuned and, and read up on that. Uh, you can check out the Cal Forums. There's a lot of info about that uh, particular uh, land. So, Skippy, I know you and I are going to be going there. We're going to be probably yep. hugging it up, and I'll be spooning you definitely in the hotel room, uh, baby powder and all. Yeah, that should be fun. I'm going to bring my camera, film all that, and uh, just have a good time and chill and meet all these people that I've been uh, trying to kill online for the, the past few years. That should be fun. Now, also, um, I... Uh, go ahead. Um, I don't know if you guys still do this, but I was just going to... There's only two more players running up. I was going to do a little E-Rev roster rundown of, uh, of the teams real quick. Yeah, definitely. Right before we do that, though, uh, looks like FX has a new sponsor because of Moore's. Uh, they're gonna, they just got a new uh, sponsor. Preparation H will be sponsoring uh, uh, FX here because of Moore's hemorrhoid problems. So the, they want to let me know that. So make sure Moore's you get that taken care of, buddy. So we're gonna go over the E-Rev roster uh, rundown. Uh, go ahead, Skip. All right, on the Nexus team, starting out on SAS, we have Mav NRD, Trupa, Deny, Marsh, Tit. And bees eggs. For and go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No. And for uh, FX, we have Enforcer, Moore's, Soros, Enforcer, uh, J5, and um, we're gonna just call him CKK because I'm sure they switch their names around a lot, so I'm not really sure who exactly that is. Is some mass man, but uh, nevertheless, we'll make sure we can find that out. So make sure you guys uh, hit me on the IRC on that. Yeah, it looks like I got a couple shout-outs already, some early ones from uh, Rice. We have uh, good luck to Explicit Gaming playing right now. If you could shout that out, thanks. Well, there you go. There is your shout-out. And another one from CRM23. Shout-out to Spider Gaming. Doom is gay. You know, after all, after coming back to this, this is one thing I don't miss. Is all the, oh, I'm the last one to ready up. They're all yelling at me. It's all the negative shout-outs that we get on these gaming casts. Let's try to keep it positive, guys. This is uh, We're here to have fun, so let's be nice to each other, even if it isn't good fun. <laughs> no doubt about that. And as we're getting ready to uh, start off this uh, this match, uh, I'm going to be taking off the FX here, looking at see how they're going to line up their defense. And the way it looks, we're going to have three a 3-2 three, split, actually three members from FX hitting it over to bombsite A. Make that four while one is going to bombsite B. Skippy, what did it look like over there on the offense? It's actually a really similar strategy. We have a three-on-two split. Uh, for the for the FX players, we have two pushing up hard into the silos. Moore's lands a grenade on top of Wiggles, and we have smokes being deployed throughout the silo area. Bzegs answers back with a grenade onto Moore's, and Sars picks up an M4 on Mav, making it a three-on-four situation. And Nexus Troopa pushes all the way up into the silos on the unsuspecting hack, puts a bullet into his neck. It's a three-on-three -three now. Troopa's going into the west side entrance of the A bomb site with his MP5, and he has a teammate by the bomb as well. Looks like they might be trying to get a plan down and Nexus has gotten into this bomb site surprisingly quick. Um, it looks like FX is going to be trying to rotate. J5, or excuse me, HS, who was on top of A, just got taken out by Troopa as well. And uh, NXS is just coming in full force and it's going to be 2 to 1 right now. Yeah, Nexus is doing a nice job here and it looks like just a totally different team, at least for this first particular round. Uh, you know, uh, except for Thursday. So they're really changing things up tonight, trying to get that bomb as we speak. B Zig's uh, getting some fire uh, outside of bomb site A, and they do get the plant down. So we're going to have about 55 seconds to see uh, what Enforcer can do. He's on an island by himself. He's by the bread truck. He's trying to make entry into the uh, bo uh, building A right now. And uh, actually, he's near the tunnels area, right by one of the pillars. So uh, he's going to head over to the tunnels. He gets taken out by B Zig's. And that will be on the first round. So nice job by Bezix taking him out with the MP5 there. And uh, nice uh, first round there for Nexus. Yeah, definitely. That was pretty refreshing to see some teamwork coming out of these uh, offensive teams. They got in there, put down some great fire, and uh, suppressed the guy who was planting the bomb. That was just a, a great round there for NXS. We're going to see how... Uh, FX is going to answer back to that. It looks like they're going to stick with their uh, strategy from round one. Actually, no. They're sending three into A and two straight up the street. All members of Team FX are in the A bomb site right now. The fire is commencing from the top of A into the grassy area 
of the uh, SAS spawn, and Mav comes around to mid street and takes out HS, uh, who is in top A, and Moore's answers back with an M4 into Mr. Wiggles. And here comes Troopa yet again with a hard flank move on silos and shoots Hack in the back with his M4, and starts opening fire onto the top A building. BZX puts a bullet into the brain of Saurus, making it a four on one. Moore's all by himself for Team FX. He's going to have to try to defend this bomb site. And here we go, another example of some good teamwork. Deny throws a smoke on the bomb while his team plants it. I like to see stuff like that. And Deny with a set grenade. I'm pretty sure that was set from A all the way over to the train yard. Takes out that last uh, FX player for another win from Nexus Gaming. Yeah, I'm not sure if Moore's got the memo on that, that they were playing catch, but nevertheless, he still got it in his way there, and it just really uh, blew the hell out of him. So right now, we're going to go to the third round, and again, this is just a totally different Nexus team, and uh, right now, FX, really, their defense is really a little shaky, as you could tell, and right now, on the off offensive side we have four members going A and actually one of the members from Nexus uh, is moving to B, middle to B right now. So they're really splitting things up tonight, taking out Enforcer with a nice pineapple toss off the start there. Soros taking out Mav, so it looks like FX is uh, trying to switch things up. Soros is on the second level here. Uh, Troopa is going one on one as he's moving into bomb site A and he takes out their uh, C double K there, J5 himself. And uh, right now, fire is going across Trooper right now. Trooper uh, actually leaves the area. Deny is coming from the opposite end of the building. He actually makes his way in the trenches. And uh, he's going to be moving up to the bomb site. Uh, we still have some defense. Skippy, what, is the, what does it look like over at the uh, uh, FX side move movement? You know, FX is actually playing pretty sloppy. I mean, these uh, they're, they're playing in spots that I wouldn't really recommend if I was going to take a glance at the entrances in A. But... Um, for NXS is just is strolling in like a like a SWAT team and checking all these corners and taking them out and Troopa is just flanking the silos every round and coming in the side entrance and uh, FX hasn't grown wise to that yet and Troopa's still picking up two three kills each round and getting into that A bomb site. Um, it looks like NXS decided to plant B this round and HS uh, tried to come around towards the bomb site but Troopa's right there and puts a bullet into his head. It's going to be two to three right now. Um, NXS has the bomb down at B. Source is going to have to try to get a defuse uh, and take out these two guys, but that's not going to happen. Deny gets an MP5 into him, and NXS continues with their momentum 3-0 uh, to zero so far. Yeah, Source uh, knew he was there, threw a flash, and just rushed in there hoping for a knife or maybe a close combat kill there, but he was actually denied there, so nice job by Nexus here. And... Uh, I mean, if they're going to win, the, they got the rounds that they need off the start here, Skippy, and they're going to look good as they're going to be uh, going head into the defensive side. Their defense is actually pretty decent, as I was talking to Deny before. They're really happy with their defense on this map, so they're, gonna, they're looking really, really good here off the start uh, as we head into this next round. And right now the defense, again, pretty much carbon copy is the other rounds. We have three going A, one going middle, and one actually pushing outside the B, possibly the flank into uh a there, Bezik's taking out uh, C double K there with the MP5. So, Skip, as we're looking around, how does FX uh, look with their last two members, Source and Enforcer? Um, we have Source playing top A. He's trying to hold these guys off. He's got two NXS members pushing up through the silos, trying to pick him off. And we have uh, the other NXS, or excuse me, FX player, Enforcer, who's at the the building across the street on the top story, watching that bottom A. Source picks up a kill on Bezek. Defending the A bomb side, he's in a firefight with Mr. Wiggles, and he gets him out as well, making it a one on two. A uh, critical fight there by Soros, takes out two members, and gives his team a chance to get on the scoreboard. And it looks like the last NXS member, D9, is going to be planting the bomb at B, and he gets stunned the second he leaves the bomb. Enforcer comes up and cleans him up, and, uh, excuse me, FX is going to get on the board. Yeah, nice job there. He tried to come back around, around B, but he, he got the bomb down, but. Enforcer was there, so hopefully Nexus didn't wake up a sleeping giant because right now it's 3-1. to one. So it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, FX does now that they got this one round under their belts. Hopefully they can gain some type of momentum, Skippy, as we're going into the fifth round. Yeah, FX might uh, start to see how NXS is pushing up into the A-bomb site, and they're starting to get better angles on uh, on their approach. And Source did, he, he did pick up a, a good couple of gunfights right there, which... Uh, led them to the victory that round. So we'll see if they can do it again. We have smokes thrown on the silo. I'm guessing that's to, to prevent any NXS sniper from picking them off, but there is no sniper on NXS. HS is going to land a grenade on B-Ziggs, 
making it four to five early in the round. Troopa's going to be coming up right into the front of A. Moores gets an MP5 on d and Trooper is in the A-bomb site right now. Doesn't see any FX members in the A-bomb site, but in fact, Hack is right in the back, and now he opens fire, and it's going to be five on three. Two NXS members are down, so FX does have the advantage, and Hack picks up an MP4 on Mav, opening fire on another member um, in the A-bomb site. Mr. Wiggles comes in and uh, helps him out and takes down FX HS. Yeah, very, very interesting to see how Nexus deployed that offensive strategy. They actually went uh, middle to B and then back to A with some of the members, so they kind of did a big split. And right there we see Troopa getting taken out by CKK there with the M4, 3-2. Uh, again, Nexus does have the rounds they pretty much need, I would say, 3-4 to four, uh, uh, rounds as they go into the defensive side. But right now uh, it looks like FX is trying to gain, get back into this game 3-2 to two right now. And... Uh, We'll see how Nexus deploys out right now. See if they change th things up again or if they go back to the original uh, strap where they uh, got the first two rounds off the beginning. Because right now FX has really done a nice job of switching, uh, moving around their players and really uh, giving promise to Nexus right now. Yeah, FX is really committing to the A bomb site. All members are in that first building. They're not even sending a player to the roofs of the second building. I'm not sure if that's the best choice. They have uh, all four players inside of A or outside on the street, and that one has crossed into that building. He's getting shot through the wall. Hack picks up an MP5, or excuse me, an M4 on Troopa, and a headshot on Mr. Wiggles. Nice job there by Hack. B Ziggs is going to take out Moores with an MP5. Deny is going to be pushing up uh, to the B site from Nexus, and B Ziggs gets an MP5 on headshot. Soros picks up an uh, M4 on Mav, making it a two on three. Big exchange of kills there so far in the round. Deny and B Ziggs, last members for Nexus, and uh, Soros, E4, Sir, and Hack for FX. Deny is on the second building from A, and he's taking heavy fire from the A roof, and then Enforcer is on the roof as well, and sh takes him down, making it a three-on-one in favor of, of FX. What's interesting, Skippy, is that, you know, even though Nexus is down, you know, a player here, or actually not down a player, but they only have one player alive at, against three, they're actually doing a lot of better, better teamwork than they did on Thursday, but right now we're going to watch b right now, as he gets in the B and he got taken out there by the enforcer there with the M4 so everything's tied up now three to three as we go into the seventh round uh, and it's gonna be very interesting to see how uh, F FX does now as they really got a nice momentum going and they just halted the uh, pushes of Nexus here yeah well it seems like they're just putting a lot of fire opening up on the round and that's I think that's what you gotta do because the offense is starting out in a big open area into the grass, and it seems like FX is just getting in position as quickly as they can and putting as much bullets in that uh, general direction as possible. And they're doing the same thing. Wow! Three kills off the bat. Four kills off the bat in the Nexus. It's going to be a team ace if they can take out... Oh, my gosh. That round was less than wow. 20 seconds long, and Nexus gets taken out. FX has got to be happy with that round. Holy crap. <laughs> That was quick. Uh, we're going to have to jot that down in the E-Rev e Guinness uh, Book of <laughs> Records there because that was just, wow. All I have to say is wow. So it right now we're going, out, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the next round. and Let's see how Nexus does as they're uh, heading off here. Looks like they're going to go three to the uh, silos here and one middle and one possibly, looks like, nope, make that four to silos and one to mid. So they're going to obviously attack A here. And uh, they have actually uh, penetrated the uh, defense a little bit here. And we have Troopa, the lead guy here for Nexus, as he's into the silos deep in that area right now. He's taking fire from the second floor from one of the uh, uh, FX players right now. Mav and Wiggles getting a nice double kill teaming up there. And we have Mr. Wiggles and Troopa moving into A right now. So we have five members of Nexus. Could this be a role reversal here, uh, uh, a team ace here? Oh, I take that back. Looks like they just took out Bezik, so that ended that little proposition. So Troopa's trying to get into A as we speak. Uh, they got the bomb down. So Nexus really has the advantage right now. Three against one. Uh, HS is the only one. He gets taken out by Troopa with the M4. Four to four. So nice job by Nexus there to turn the tables right back on uh, FX. Yeah, both, both, both teams are playing really aggressive now. Ever since uh, FX started uh, pushing up into that A bomb site, it's just, it's just a... A mall of metal and bullets flying everywhere here at the A bomb site, but uh, Nexus is doing a. Did it? Go ahead. No, I was. Go ahead. I was. I hit it on accident. Sorry. 
Oh, okay, Nexus did a good job of getting around to the B bomb site and avoiding uh, the. I'm, I'm guessing they're starting to see that uh, FX is stacking that A bomb site. Enforcer and Source and HS all picking up kills. Hack with that M4 on Trooper. We're, have, we're looking at another quick round for Nexus just going down like flies. FX picking them off left and right. We have one member remaining. That's Mr. Wiggles who's just hiding in spawn. He picks up a kill on Moors, making it a four on one. FX. Uh, trying to pick this last guy off and get a round for their team. So right now we have Mr. Wiggles still alive, going up against four. Wiggles gets taken out by Soros, five to four, in the favor of FX. So right now we're going to go to the FX vent right now. Let's see how they're going to talk about their defense here. So we're going to go to FX right about now. Three more. I was denied top fragging with three kills. He's a good planner. I picked him up for planning, man. Fucking smoke and cross all of them. They're doing their thing. No, you didn't. Fucking lit. I got one of them. Lit up. I'm going tunnel. I'm going tunnel. Egypt, Egypt, hit. One's uh, two of them. Pushing Red silo. Container. Red container, G. Uh, one jump, top B, one top. Swear house. Top B, peeking through trees. I'm top A. Top A. Top A. Top A. Guys. One's coming bottom A, milk truck. Okay, I'll work it. Okay. I can't really do it. Never mind. Tunnel. Fall, fall, fall. Top B. Nice job. Plenty B. Is there can't still see one top B? Fake, fake, fake. On top. Is there on still one top, top B? On okay. top. I'm in top A. I'm in a fucking tight spot. Damn, I'm in a tight spot. I got A covered. I don't have shit. Tell me if you're both going all the way to it. I'm gonna try and get around to cover the B. He's at the B bomb. Yeah, he's at the bomb. Hmm. Alright, we're back to live action. So Nexus ties it up 5-5. Five to five, And uh, that was some war room coverage. Actually, we're going to go to FX's, uh, or excuse me, Nexus's vent here. As they did a nice job to tie that up. So let's go to Nexus vent right now. Smoke deep. I'm down at these guys. Silo down. Uh, once to pop A, he's looking at stay. I'm in gay corner. Go ahead and try to push up behind him, Cam. Well, I just saw one, I saw one in top B, offices. Top in. Oh, I don't even what know. Oh, oh, L turn, L turn. Top B cabinet. Good try. Oh, try. Good, Good try. try son. Ah, penis. All right, we're back to live action. We hope you're enjoying the war room coverage. And again, this match is uh, voted by you, the people, in the Cal Forum. So we, we want to thank you for the participation in there. And I will put schedules each and every week. So make sure you guys take a vote on that. Now, Skippy, as we looked at those last two rounds, action going back and forth. And uh, this is going to be a, a crucial round here, as right before we go into halftime. And uh, Nexus really did the job here. And hopefully they can come out on this, at least for them on this, and, and get this next round. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting to see Nexus come up with uh, so many points on offense, so they are doing a good job, and we'll see if FX uh, can do the same. Mav is going to open up the round with an M16 kill on Enforcer. What we're seeing a lot from Nexus is players uh, 
like quickly moving in very, very fast into the A-bomb site and getting an element of surprise on these FX players who are just not ready to get into a gunfight. They're, uh, they're watching different ways and they're getting ambushed by Nexus players. Morris picks up a kill on Troopa, making it two on three. Mav answers back with an M16 onto Morris. And we have uh, HS who's going to be playing top A with his RPD, trying to lock that down. Mr. Wiggles is right below him with an M4, uh, trying to get into that A bomb site undetected. Soros is going to be moving around on the pipes as well, transferring over to the second roof, and he finds Mr. Wiggles dropping down from above, puts a few bullets into his chest, takes him out, evening out the round two to two. Mav and B's eggs versus HS and Soros uh, from FX. Soros is going to be moving over to the B bomb site, which is which the bomb has just been planted on. Mav takes out HS and B's eggs standing on top of the bomb. Trying to defend it, Soros lands a grenade on top of Mav, making it a one-on-one. -on -one. Bzegs in the train yard right now, trying to defend this bomb site. And Soros, who has been tagged hard by Bzegs, trying to move for the defuse, still injured. They get into a gunfight. Bzegs comes out on top with his MP5. Uh, he must have had steady aim on because his bullets were flying a lot straighter uh, than Mav's, and they're going to go ahead and pick up the round. Great job there by Nexus. Six to six, and totally a totally different team from Nexus uh, from Thursday doing a really nice job and this time the uh, MP5s and the M4s are not hurting them this time because last match they did uh, but now they've really uh, straightened things up so they're gonna go defense their defense will be tested and uh, it's gonna be good fun to see how Nexus does here now I do have the shout outs ladies and gents I do have them I'm getting spammed to hell here and I love that so I'll make sure I get that out after this uh, match so don't worry I'll get that across the air so right now we're gonna head off into the 13th round here and um, you know, Skippy, again, another entertaining match. I mean, last week we had a uh, five-overtime match, and now this one, both matches, very entertaining. I want to thank Cal again and Sean from Cal uh, giving us the opportunity to cast these preseason move-up matches. These, these are very, very important to see how these teams do if they can get to Cal-M. Yeah, most definitely. Right now we're watching... Uh FX and see, watching how they're going to move into A. It looks like they're kind of spreading their their offensive line out. They're not rushing directly into A. They're kind of moving around the whole map trying to find some uh, weaknesses in the Nexus line. B-Zag is going to pick up a brain shot on uh, Moores, who's going to go down. So it seems like FX is going to be playing relatively slow offense to start off the half. They're not moving in very fast. Uh, Nexus players are just locking down their angles. They're not they're not in a big hurry to move around. Um, we have Hack from FX pushing up to the B side. Nexus gets a shot on HS. Hack is going to be pushing up into that second building and takes out Mr. Wiggles. B's eggs gets one into Enforcer and Map takes out Saurus, making it a one on four. Hack is going to be all by himself for FX. Not a good start to the offense for uh, for FX as Map comes around and uh, takes out the remaining player. Taking taking the first round of the second half here. Seven to six, and uh, Nexus did a really nice job there on defense, locking down A. And uh, right now we're going to see how they deploy out. And uh, right now I have another score in as we speak. Make sure you hit me up. I'll make sure I get those scores out right now. Uh, we have solid line taking out 51, 50, 13 to two. Nice job there by solid line of one of the early scores that I have received. So right now. Uh, looks like Nexus has taken the same positions. Mavs, nice pineapple toss on Soros here. Smoke has been deployed from uh, FX, and they have actually penetrated into the silos area, penetrated the defense of Nexus. Bezix coming around, go one-on-one -on -one with Morris, and Morris takes him out there. Nice job by Morris with the uh, MP5. So Morris is uh, attacking the A side from silos. All he has left is Hack and Morris, so these two are our only ones left. And we have Troopa, Mav, and Mr. Wiggles for uh, Nexus right now. Uh, defending for their side. So Moore's right now on the bottom part or the uh, the uh, west end, or excuse me, east end of the uh, bomb site A. So he's moving there. So uh, Troopa has the second floor down. Hack is moving into the uh, bottom part of A right now. So looks like they're going to attack A as we speak. So looks like they're going to try to rush into that particular area. Right now, Mr. Wiggles takes out Hack there. So Mr. Wiggles trying to clean that up. And one-on-one, -on -one, Moore's takes out Mr. Wiggles. So Moore is going back and forth right now. Uh, Troopa and Moore is going. Oh, and Mav comes around the side, takes out Moore's. And that is it. Eight to six right now. Next is doing an outstanding job. Yeah, FX was moving in rather aggressive that round. They, uh, they 
made a big change in their offensive strategy. Looks like they were pouncing in there like a bunch of velociraptors from uh, Jurassic Park, but it didn't turn out quite as well as I thought it was going to. I mean, they had a lot of aggression, a lot of initiative going into that A site, putting a lot of fire, and they picked up some kills, but they couldn't follow through. And it seems that Nexus has some good angles um, on that A bomb site, and uh, as the FX players try to creep around and get in there, they just get picked off. Um, by the Nexus players. Enforcer is going to pick up an early headshot onto Deny, and it seems like they're trying the same strategy. Two members going up into top A from FX. B Ziggs lands a bullet into Moores, and, and Soros picks up a kill on Troopa. Mav taking out HS. It's tied up 3 to 3 in the round, and FX is pushing the A bomb site very hard. Yeah, right now we have Beezigs, who's going to be going one-on-one -on -one here in the silos area. So let's take a look at Beezigs as Hacker is moving around. But actually, he jumps over the other side of the wall and looks like he's going to go bottom A right now. Or actually, he's on the outside of the wall. We're going to take a look at that. We have Enforcer as the scope here uh, for FX in the grassy knoll by one of the pillars here, uh, trying to get some shots into uh, bombsite A. So it's going to be interesting to see how this takes transpires here. Beezigs still being really patient. And it uh, looks like Enforcer throwing... Uh, a stun over. Looks like, oh, he just pistol with the Beezigs there from the top of the chrome there of the dome and just really uh, wiped him out there. So we have Enforcer and Hack going up against Mr. Wiggles and Mav. So Mr. Wiggles, oh, he takes out Hack there with the uh, M4. So Wiggles is moving back to B. So right now, both teams just being really stealth like right now. And uh, this is a very fun match as Enforcer moves into A. And it's going to be really fun to see how this transpires, Skippy, because these two teams are just going back and forth like a nice boxing match here. Yeah, their their play is very exciting. They're both opening up and trying to get into position early on. And Forster right there picking up a kill on Mav, making it one-on-one. -on -one, and he goes to the A bomb site. Mr. Wiggles already rotated around and lands a shot into his chest, taking away another round, making it 9-6 to six in favor of Nexus. But as I was saying earlier, um, both teams are starting out really aggressive, and then they try to get in their positions and hide and pick off players um, being pushed up so far into the map. It's interesting to see how that plays out. It seems like there's just a lot of looking in the right uh, the right place at the right time uh, to win these gunfights against these guys. Yeah, no doubt. And then right now we have, looks like FX is deploying again. And this time they're actually going to go two mid or make that three mid and two to the left. And now they've rotated back. Now they're going to go four to B now. Uh, they're trying to get that smoke has been. Oh, nice shot by Enforcer. Just dropped the nigh there. And Mav... Oh, Hack taking out Wiggle, so back and forth action here. We have Source, Enforcer, and Hack going up against Bezix, Troopa, and Mav just got taken out. So three against two in the favor of FX right now. And so, so some nice, fast action. Looks like Nexus is uh, taking refuge in uh, bombsite A, one top A, one bottom A, Bezix on bottom A. And uh, looks like we have uh, Source and Hack on the bottom A, one going top A, one going bottom A. So someone's going to meet somebody here, uh, Skippy, and we're going to see who's going to be the one to dance. Looks like it's going to be a table for one only, as uh, they're going to be going one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Nexus, uh, Troopa, and Bezix both playing in the A-bomb side, trying to keep out these FX players who are just swarming them. All They're surrounding the A-bomb side right now. Bezix gets a kill on Hack. Soros gets a deagle on Troopa, and Bezix answers back with a deagle on Enforcer, turning it into a one-on-one -on -one situation. A uh, key round for FX to come back um, and get, gain some momentum. BZX is in top A at the moment. Oh, no, excuse me. Source is at top A. BZX is down below. And here comes Source jumping down in front of him. And BZX says, hello, take my bullets, eat it, fall down, die. And Nexus is going to pick up another round. <laughs> Ten to six now. And, I mean, this is just a... a and a great match to watch. Very entertaining. Back and forth action. You can't ask for anything more. And, uh, you know, these are pretty evenly two, te uh, two uh, evenly matched teams here. And it looks like for the defensive side here, we have Nexus actually uh, pushing mid to mid A. And uh, they're taking uh, bottom A, top A right now, while one guy has gone top B. So it's going to be interesting to see how Nexus goes. As for FX, how have they uh, been deployed here on the rush, Skippy? They're, they're keeping up their aggression on the A bomb side. It doesn't seem like they're sending anyone B. Soros picks up a kill and deny, but uh, there's a lot of smokes being thrown. I'm actually not sure which team is deploying them, but uh, lots of smokes going off early in the round so that these players can get pushed up into really close uh, positions. Troopa picks up a kill on HS. It's tied up 4-4. Four four. Troopa's watching that main entrance where people drop down from the grass uh, into the A bomb side, and he sees a player outside of the wall who's not going to come through that door. I think he knows he, it's being watched. Mav picks up a kill on Soros. 
making it four to three. Excuse me, two to three as Chupa gets a bullet into the eyes of Moores, taking him down and forcing Hack. Last one's left um, for for FX, trying to push up and make something happen here at one of the bomb sites. And Forcer tossing a grenade into that top A building to no avail. Doesn't find an opponent there. Uh, Enforcer's got a sniper rifle up there in that second building across the street. Hack taking out B's eggs, giving them a chance. It's three on two. Mr. Wiggle is at the bulldozer right now trying to take out Hack um, into the A-bomb side. He gets a few rounds into him. Hack gets a few rounds into Mr. Wiggles. And Mr. Wiggles is falling back towards the B-bomb site. Troopa gets, a, gets the kill on Hack, but then decides to commit suicide. Falls off the roof, breaks his legs, and he's going to go down without a medic. Mav is going to be watching top A. Enforcer, who is tagged right now. Now, last member for FX is at the B bomb site going for a plant. Mr. Wiggles is right there and says, Take my M4 bullet to your neck. You are dead. And Nexus is going to win another round. So, right now we have Troopa going 15 and 11, Mav going 19 and 12. While for uh, FX, we have Source going 19 and 11, Enforcer going 15 and 11. So, both teams' top two scorers uh, really pretty much bounce between the two. Uh, but the rear player is going to have to bring it up for both sides as uh, pretty much they're going to be the utility players off so far. But right now we have four members uh, from FX heading into A really, really hard here as one is going to delay. It looks like Hax is going to delay on this push. So right now they're into the silos area. Just back and forth action right now in this round. Uh, we have more. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against B-Ziggs. He gets taken out by B-Ziggs with the MP5. Uh, B-Ziggs going one-on-one, -on -one, takes out a uh, headshot there or HS there. Uh, with a nice headshot and it looks like they're gonna take uh, control of the silos area so as I'm moving around uh, Troopa is on top A right now Bzigs taking out Soros and Hack so and that will be that will do it so will this be the final round for FX I don't know but they're definitely having a hard time gaining some ground on offense I mean they've had a few decent rounds but they just they just can't keep it up Nexus is just uh, you know they're they're rotating their players and getting around where uh, they're just not giving any openings into these bomb sites. So we'll see what they're going to do. It looks like they're going to try a little 3-2 split, sending 3 to A and 2 up the middle of the street, possibly to B. Um, I don't know yet. One's actually going to stay back and put some bullets through the smoke and into top A, maybe trying to get a pick there. And we have players up on the A roof already for FX. That is going to be Saurus up there, who's up there, and he gets a shot on Troopa, who's watching top A. B says his MP5 on hack. So FX already uh, taken over the top A building. We'll see if they can push their way into that A bomb site. Enforcer up there uh, with three teammates in top A watching the surrounding parts. It's four on four uh, to both teams right now so far in the round. We have a minute 15 left on the clock. Enforcer tossing a grenade. Mav is going to pick up a kill on HS. FX might be delaying a little too long. Seems like they're given a chance for Nexus to come around and start picking them off. Soros gets a headshot on Mav and Enforcer falls to his death. Making it two on three um, in favor of Nexus. Moors and Stars are going to have to make something happen here for FX if they want to stay in this match. They're having a big gunfight at A. Bzex and Deny. Uh, Deny gets a team kill on Bzex, making it a one on two. Moors is going to have to clutch it for his team if he wants to pick up this match. Deny and Mr. Wiggles. Last one's left for Nexus. Moors rings the A bomb site and comes over towards the street side, and he tracks some fire from Mr. Wiggles, who's uh, getting shot. By Moores. Moores takes him out. It is a one on one situation. Moores can do this for his team. He's running over to the B bomb site. Deny right there behind him. Shoots him in the back. And that's going to be it for this match. Nexus is going to come out on top. Great try by Mar or, excuse me, Moores, but uh, he just couldn't get it done there. Nexus had too many angles and uh, came out on top. Yeah, so nice job by Nexus there. Really just uh, switching it up and then getting this win uh, aside from Thursday's match. So uh, we've got to give them big props for that. So they take that win 13-6 to six in the Cal preseason main move-up match. And Skippy, I mean, what do you have to say about Nexus? They did a, a great job. I mean, yeah, both both teams did. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, you're right. Nexus had a pretty uh, impressive offense. I wasn't expecting to see a, a tie game or a one-point lead um, on the first half from an offensive side. So, I mean, that's I think that's where they won their match. They got a lot of momentum um, on that side, and then they just had a solid defense all around and uh, came out on top over FX. All right, right now we're going to get to the, your uh, shout-outs that you have. I mean, I'm getting spammed to death. I'm sure you are, Skippy, so why don't you lead it off, buddy, with the uh, shout-outs. All right, I got one from Saw Hyper who wants to give one to Rambo. He says, take his bath and float over. I'm guessing he's uh, either... 
on a different continent. Uh, another one from Zero Flawless says, shout out from Corrupt Temp Loves Guys. Uh, Riffle, shout out to Birdman. Good job being horrible. Say it's from KM. Oops, sorry, I guess I messed that one up. Dorkworm Emo, shout out Skippy. Let's keep it positive. I love you, and my love goes out to you as well. Gunman1, good luck on the cow match tonight. I want to send a shout out to Zito Mac and Run and Gun. Uh, JCP Telly, shout out to RPGs and the Just Cause Project organization. Explicit says this match is crazy. A little uh, comment from the peanut gallery, and I could not agree more. Arab wants to give a shout out to my mom for losing money in Atlantic City. Well, you know what they say, you can't win big if you don't bet big. So props to your mom for giving it a shot, either way. Uh, Con4 Verb gives a shout out to his team Fatality. Kingsley is the man. Uh, looks like I just got one more in at the ring of a bell. And, uh, oh, he says, uh, NXS poops on kids. Not sure if that was the best choice of words, but uh, that is it for my end. All right, I'm going to take it off right here. We have Hyper from Saw. Shout out to Rambo from Saw. Take his bathtub and float over. Well, that was a nice shout out there from, uh, from Hyper there. And we have also one from Canto from Gaming Royalty. Uh, shout out to Nexus Gnome. Uh, see your mother in 20 from everyone at Gaming Royalty. Uh, another one from Bobcat. Shout out to congrats to my uh, my G's Diaz from dropping a 40 bomb in our match. So it looks like uh, Diaz was just uh, really rolling it up there. Uh, shout outs uh, from Dove. Uh, looks like uh, just shout outs to us from Erev uh, to Erev. That's from Dove. So I uh, thank you, Dove from uh, PG. And it looks like here we have one from Infection from KOD. Uh, shout out to Nexus. Made an amazing push there. That was unbelievable. Uh, I love you, Sonics. And we also have one from Doolin. Shout out to Troopa, the 40-year-old pimp. And that's from Doolin from Nexus. And uh, shout out to, uh, to all the Call of Duty still alive. Uh, that is from Emo from Do Work. And we also have from Proner. Shout out to uh, the plays... Uh, I really like everyone who plays COD 4, especially the noobs who don't ready up like Skippy. That's from Proner. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, we also have one from here from Term from Gaming Royalty. Shout out to Gaming Royalty. That's from Term, so uh, thank you, Term, on that. And as I'm keep getting spammed here, I'm just getting spammed to death. Uh, see, do, 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 tell him I love him. Uh, shout out to Naz. That's from Mac Daddy. He's letting Naz know that there's some mad love going around. And uh, what we got here uh, from Sixer, from Rom, uh, Nexus poops on kids. Oh, he actually told me never mind, but too bad. It's already out. Uh, we also have one from Saint from Skippy Effects. Shout out to Skippy Effects because we damn sexy. And as for my uh, X-Fire, really quick here. Trying to get these last, uh, last ones out. Shout out to Trooper for wrecking my mother. Wow, he must have beat that up really good. Uh, this is from Paladin from Nexus. Shout out to Nexus. Keep it rolling, TG. Uh, third Nexus team. Uh, is sexist. Sexy is coming out. Anonymous. Okay. Uh, we also have one from Vapor. Shout out to Anger. I'm glad I hired you. And Skippy is the man. Yes, Skippy is the man. And he will be casting for Cal on Sunday. So if you guys love his sexiness, he will be here on Sundays. So that's all I have right now. I'm <laughs> all right. Oh, I have one more here really quick from Salvia uh, from Gaming Royalty. Shout out to Aftermath for having the wrong GUID. Okay, so he fixed that up. And oh, and he wants to say that he likes turtles. Okay, so that's all the shout outs I have as I'm getting uh, Actually, really cotton mouth here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I looked over a couple. Um, I have one from PGW. He had a different wording. He said, uh, Punishment Gaming says, see everyone in PA, but not the pug star PG Gary. He said, thanks a million, and E-Rev is the shit. Um, handing out some props. I'm glad you enjoyed the cast. Uh, keep tuning in every weekend, and we'll have some more for you. Uh, another shout-out from Frag, who says, shout-out, RPGs for Cal. Skippy FX soundtrack coming soon. Uh, the guitar player Frag, obviously working um, on some musical pieces. Uh, and my last one on the list, Rage TG, shout-out to Kevin. Uh, for having an obese father. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, again, my name is Adrian Skippy Thompson, and as I leave you tonight, I want to give you an ancient Chinese proverb reading. Once bitten by a snake, he is scared all his life by the mere sight of a rope. All right.
really quick here. I'm going to get some last shout outs here. Shout out to Anger for having such a cool gay voice. That's from Proner. Even though Promer hates me right now, but that's all good, buddy. <laughs> um, we also have one from Todd. Shout out to uh, Zito Rage. Uh, for, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Todd. Shout out to Zito Rage more, please. We have one from Crescents from F. I'm not sure what clan it is. Shout out to Gus, best manager ever. And uh, before we go here, it looks like we're going to get an interview with Mav if you want to. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Do you have any last minute uh, shout outs before I get Mav in here really quick for a quick interview, Skip? So, um, no, actually I don't. Okay. Right now, if we can go to some music really quick, Lamek, let me get Mav here into the channel. I'm going to give him a real quick interview since he is the Iron Man of the match. He just beasted it up. I want to show him and Nexus some love really quick. So if we can go to some music really quick, Lime, I'll get that done right now. All right. Meanwhile, though, I just want to put one word in. Uh, basically, uh, uh, trying to tell you guys that uh, recently you've probably noticed that we've been playing around with the bit rates and the resolution of the outputs of the streams. Uh, basically, we've had some people that were complaining that they were lagging out. So we, you know, we have so much demand for casts and so many people that come in and watch these casts that uh, we are trying to accommodate as many people as we can. So we reduced the bit rate on uh, the last match, and that was a little bit too small. So we're trying to make it a little bit bigger, but not as big as before. So if you have any comments on that, any suggestions, uh, any feedback that you'd like to give, uh, register with our forums at e-rev.tv and make sure to make your voice heard on that front. And uh, uh, that's about it. So we'll be back in a few. Well, I take that back, Lamic. We do have Mav in already, so um, we'll stop the music there so we won't get uh, get that Roger. rolling. But Mav, uh, we would like to welcome you in from Nexus here. You're the Iron Man of the match. You really beasted it up there with your uh, nice KDR and just pretty much all-around play there. I just want to say congratulations off the start and welcome in, Mav. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be All right. here. All right. No problem. Um, you know, you guys had a tough time on Thursday going up against 50 Cal on the same map. You started out as offense. Uh, was that creeping in the back of your mind? Even though this is preseason, it is a main move-up uh, match. Did that creep in the back of your minds at all uh, going into the same map again? Yeah, after we just got embarrassed Thursday. Uh, we just decided to rethink what we're going to do in the offense and just strat the hell out of it as much as we could. Now, what were the uh, some of the changes that you made off the bat? Because we did notice some, at least you, you really switched up your offense and kept FX on their heels uh, for a little bit of that part. And you guys really took a, a two-round uh, quick lead there. Was that a, a nice momentum change there for you guys? Yeah, um, mainly what we try to do is just get a couple quick pick and roll. Like, just try to get the momentum early on. Because what happened with 50 cal, we just kind of broke down after losing the momentum. But other than that, just we just want to pick them and just go to the bottom set that we picked them at. All right, now you guys are going to be moving on to the uh, next match. Um, again, I wanted to say thank you for you guys for letting us cast you both in a bad time and also a good time as for tonight. And now, Skippy, I don't know if you have any questions for the Iron Man of the match. Do you have any at all? Um, no questions, but uh, congratulations on the match. Well played, and it was, it was fun to watch. Now, also, also too, now you guys move into Sebo uh, P. How do you guys, uh, you know, you guys did good on that, and uh, you guys are going to be moving into Cal, and hopefully you guys move into Cal M. Uh, is that something that, you know, you guys want to shoot for? Is it, you know, because we know Cal is like one of the premier leagues. I mean, even though that people say they don't give prizes and whatnot, Cal is a very premier league still, still has a recognition um, going into, even though this is preseason, uh, did, did uh, Nexus feel really good as a team um, about this? Yeah, we're glad we made it to CWP. Like, it was a huge accomplishment for us. We just It was really hard to be our other team. Um, and going to Cal, it's, it'll be fun. But as long as it doesn't get in the way of SIVO, we'll go all out in both leagues. Right, right, right. We can't forget about Cal because we love them over there. So, Matt, before we let you go, do you have any last-minute shout-outs or any sponsors you want to show some love to? I have a shout-out to our sister team, uh, Nexus Gaming, uh, Nightfall, uh, Gnome, saw Logan at LAN yesterday. Uh, also, another shout-out to Neznaz being our sponsor, funding us. All right. Well, we're going to let Mav go, the Iron Man of the match, and I want to thank him for coming in really quick there as they just took out uh, FX there, 13-6. to 6. And, um, you know, I have a couple. Let's see, do I have a couple more? No, I don't. Skippy, do you have any last-minute shots before we get off the air? 
Um, I do have a couple PMs. We have one from PG Gary who just said, thanks, two ties. I got raped by shoutouts times. Uh, yeah, no problem there. And the, the last one that I have on my list, um, this guy, Look Hot Sauce, wants to give a shout-out to Jesus. Uh, probably the best shout-out that I've seen so far tonight. That's it for yeah, me. Yeah, you got... Yeah, you definitely got to give one to Jesus Cristo there, uh, because without him, we would not be here. <laughs> but uh, also, again, just remember uh, the Gigafrag land in March in Vesalia, California. So if you're around the West Coast, uh, make sure you join us there. Uh, just check the Californians for that. You get all the info on there. And uh, I just want to show them some love over there. And also uh, to uh, all the uh, COD4 Scrim, COD4 Pug, make sure you put a pound in front of that. Uh, my man over there. Scope doing a hard work over there. I want to show him some love as he's shown us some love also. So uh, make sure you get to those channels. And uh, until tomorrow, or excuse me, until tomorrow night, we're going to cover SIBO playoffs. Uh, make sure you check our site at www.e-rev.tv, and uh, you'll see what match and time right now. It's pretty much in limbo as we speak. I got to make sure to get that set up. So don't have the exact time, but we will have the playoffs tomorrow. So make sure you uh, check the uh, forums or excuse me, the site and uh, the time, and uh, make sure you join us here on eRev TV. So for myself, Anger, and Skippy FX, welcome back, buddy, and Limec doing video. I'd like to say good night, and until next time, bon voyage. Take care.